Hello, I'm Dr. Eugenia Cheng, Senior Lecturer of Pure Mathematics at the University of Sheffield. And this is a millefeuille. That is a millefeuille, which, of course, is French for 1,000 leaves or sheets. So the theory is that there are 1,000 sheets of pastry in this. Now you're going to look at me and tell me I'm an idiot because you can count and there's three. One, two, three. But that's not the point. If you look really closely, there's lots and lots of sheets of pastry inside the pastry because this is puff pastry. And this is how you make puff pastry. You layer pastry with bits, layers of butter in between it. So this is what you do. You start by taking a block of butter and you beat it. This is my favourite part of making it. You beat it into the right shape. There is actually a point to doing this, which is it gets it to just the right consistency to be rolled into the pastry. So once you've made it into a nice rolling consistency and the right shape to go in your pastry, you wrap it up like a parcel inside your pastry. Now, which way up should I do it? I think that way up is going to be a bit better. So you wrap it up. Wrap it up. And now what I've got here is an amazing parcel of dough and butter. And I'm just going to flatten it out again. So remember that there's butter in there that's going to get flattened out inside the pastry. So you roll it out and you use a bit of flour to make sure you don't get completely stuck everywhere. And now because the dough and the butter are about the same consistency, secretly inside there there's a beautiful layer of butter inside the pastry. So you roll it out until it's quite thin, but you're going to tell me that's not a thousand sheets, and it's not a thousand sheets, but can you work out what I'm going to do next? Because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fold it up. So now I've folded it up, I've multiplied the number of layers of sheets by three. Now, in theory at this point, you're supposed to put it in the fridge, but we're not going to do that because then you have to leave it for half an hour. We haven't got half an hour. So then you roll it out again. I'm going to do this a bit quickly because what I'm really trying to do is demonstrate how you can make a thousand sheets of pastry in a very short space of rolling time. You roll it out again, and then you know what you're going to do next. Once it's nice and long and thin, you fold it up again. And you turn it round and you keep going. And you do this six times. So how many layers of pastry are you going to end up with after you've done it six times? Well, let's think about it. We keep, we keep folding our pastry up by three, so we get three times three times three and we do it six times, six. In other words, it's three to the power of six, which is 729. And you'll tell me that's still not a million, a thousand layers of pastry, is it? But remember, we started with two layers right at the beginning. And besides which, look, we've got three pieces of pastry all stacked up. So we get to multiply it by another three. And if I'm not mistaken, that actually makes 4,374 layers of pastry, which is the amazing thing that happens when you raise things to powers. They get enormous really quickly. So perhaps, actually, we shouldn't call this a millefeuille at all. We should call it a 4,374 feuille. Doesn't have quite the same ring to it, does it? And what's more important, truth or beauty? Yum.
By the way, here's one I made earlier. Because when you make these ones, you squash them down flat so they don't get too high. But if you don't squash them down flat, then it puffs up like this. And you can see, actually, more of the layers all sitting beautifully on top of each other because the butter evaporates and pushes them out slightly and you can actually see all the 729 or 4,300 and however many layers of pastry. Mm.